Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the estimating for wood framing. Our focus will be on dimensional lumber and also the plywood. The math for plywood is really simple. Most of the plywood we buy will be in uh, 4 feet by 8 feet. What we need to do is to calculate the coverage area and then divide by 32 square feet. This is a spreadsheet. Uh, here we have some takeoff for the plywood. And what we do is uh, on the other side, we're going to record the dimension and also calculate the number of sheets. For dimension, apparently we are going to uh, record the thickness, 5 eighths inch, half inch, or 3 quarter. Uh, but at the same time, we also want to record the grade. Uh, for example, this will be half inch uh, CDX and a three quarter inch fire rated plywood. What do we need to do in this case is to use a special operator. So you will find the ampersand symbol on your keyboard by pressing shift key and uh, number seven key at the same time. Uh, let's try it out. So for dimension you type equal and then click on five eighths inch. Then you type uh, ampersand, like we talked about, uh, is that the ampersand doesn't really have any dot. So with the ampersand without the dot, now you click on the grade. In this case, we don't have any information, so you will get uh, uh, 5 eighths inch. Uh, however, if you drag this down, and then you will see uh, we have both thickness and also the grade recorded under dimension column. For the number of sheets, uh, what do we do is to take the quantity times the length times the width, uh, take that number and then divide by 32. Uh, drag this down. We don't really buy half of sheets or quarter of sheets, so we need to round up. So re realistically, we're looking at uh, 25 sheets for the first one, 29 for the second one, and a 10 sheets for the last one. In order to do the roundup, what do you do is go ahead and type uh, equal roundup. Make sure you don't make a typo. With the opening bracket, click on the thing you did. Then put a comma. We want to run this up to the whole number. So the whole number doesn't really have any digits. So you type zero, indicating there's no digit wanted. Uh, closing the bracket. Now you should have 25 sheets. Uh, drag this down. Next, we're going to talk about lumber. Uh, this is a 3D model per presentation of the lumber. You can see this piece of lumber is about uh, 14 feet long. Uh, the section dimension is one and a half inch and a three and a half inch. Uh, this one shows the actual dimension. And the nominal dimension would be two by four. The lumber will be measured in board a foot. From this sketch, you can see this is our rough lumber, the length and also the section thickness and width. The board foot idea is you take one board of lumber, which measures about 12 inch and by 12 inch, and the thickness is one inch. So if you think about this, in our previous example, which is one piece of uh, 14 foot feet long, two by four lumber, uh, we are trying to match the dimension on each side. So this is two inch, and the other side is one inch, and the width is four inch, and the board width will be 12 inch. Uh, the length of the lumber is 14 feet, and our board, would be one foot or 12 inches. So if you want to match the unit from top down, uh, we can see essentially if we take out all the ones, regardless of the unit, and what do you get really every time is two by four, uh, which is our section dimension compared with our board foot uh, piece dimension, you can see it's 12 by one. Really, it's just a 2 by 4 divided by 12 times the length. 
So we can see the formula is uh, really just uh, the lumbar piece times the section thickness times the section width divided by 12 times the length uh, in foot. I have to uh, clarify the section and width we're looking at uh, in inches and the length will be in foot. Finally, uh, let's look at our spreadsheet example uh, for the dimension column, uh, just like what we did with the plywood, all we have to do is just to combine the grade with the section dimension. So what do you do is uh, type equal, and we're going to enter the formula really slowly. The grade, and then you type uh, ampersand without dot. Uh, click on the section thickness, then do another ampersand. Uh, remember, in order to do two by four, you will have to type x. But in order to do the x, instead of uh, multiply, what you want to do is to enclose that x with the double quotes to big to the beginning or the, also to the end. Uh, finally, we add another ampersand uh, and also click on the section width. So we can see uh, we use the three ampersands and we also used uh, X with double quotes. See, let's see what, let's find out uh, what do we actually get. So we're getting PT pressure treated two by four lumber. If you drag this down, you will also see the other dimensions as well. Finally, the border feet uh, formula. After our explanation, it should be pretty easy now. The quantity times the length in feet, and then we do the sections, thickness, and width. Don't forget you have to divide that by 12 inches uh, in order to be converted to border feet. So this concludes our short introduction to lumber and uh, plywood takeoff. Uh, wish you enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to make some comments uh, below this video. And uh, also you can subscribe to the channel to get the latest update. Uh, we will see you next time.